How's it going guys? My name is Jerry with Aesthetic Auto Detailing here in West Covina, California. And today we have a first time customer. Let's check it out and let's check to see what the best package is for them. So this customer, they ask, how much are you gonna charge me? What do you tell them? I don't like to start off with like my big, big packages because that kind of steers them away from, you know, wanting to get something. Um, so I tell them, you know, my most popular one is like my signature wash, you know, it starts at uh, 90 bucks for sedans and then uh, all the way up to like 120 bucks for uh, SUVs. So that's just like, you know, basic wash, interior wipe down, vacuum, tires release and shine, stuff like that. But that's before you saw the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did tell me it was kind of dirty, you know, but you know, yesterday uh, I watched like this Audi over here. Uh, I watched two other vehicles. Today was, a, you know, I, I look at it and that's when I was like, oh, it's, it is kind of bad. All right, let's check it out, man. All right. So she has a lot of animals or? Yeah, well, nah. I mean, I know for sure she has a dog. Mm. I don't know anything else. What are you thinking, Jerry? What are you thinking, man? I already upcharged her for the dog hair and all that stuff. So, I mean, I'm going to use, I'm going to use the Tornador either way. And I'm, I'm certain that the Tornador is just, it probably just needs like a really good vacuum and wipe down, but I'm not going to be getting into like no steam cleaning, you know, stuff like that. She already knows that for the package that she's getting, like it's going to make it look better, but it's not going to be like a detailed, detailed, you know, like clean. Hey guys, but I want to know what would you guys recommend for this specific client right here? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, Jerry, there seems to be a lot of stuff in the car. What's the game plan for that? All right, so I had already told her, you know, I'm gonna upcharge her for like, you know, the dog hair, this and that. She did tell me there's gonna be some stuff, you know, laying around. I know we just made a video talking about what do we do with clients like this. She already knows that she's getting upcharged. Um, and she also knows like, hey, my car is bad. So it's so one of stuff like that. I don't mind because they at least know like, look, I'm paying you just, you know, get it done versus clients or they're just kind of like, it's not that bad and then you go and it's really bad and they try to downplay it and they're trying to get like the lowest package possible but they're trying to get the most work out of it you know what i'm saying clients like these i really don't mind it, it's cool yeah it started all right jerry so how are you gonna start this detail i don't know man i might start with the interior first yeah i don't really have it just depends on the job like if i'm doing an interior detail with an exterior wash i'll do the interior detail first it takes the longest and then while you're washing it you can still give it some time to dry, you know? And then do the finishing touches. This one, the interior is pretty dirty, but the exterior is dirty as well. So um, I think we're gonna start with the interior so we could just blow everything off with the Tornador, give it a nice good vacuum, nice wipe down, and then we'll just give it a quick wash. Now, is this still a signature wash? I mean, technically, yeah, it is. It's still gonna be a signature wash. It's not gonna be like a, uh, like detailed, like an interior detail, you know? Um, but she is gonna get like the tornador blown, everything. She's getting upcharged for, you know, the dog hair, stuff like that. So um, charging her an extra 30 bucks. Yeah. And it's 10 a.m. How long would this take you with you and your dad? Um, I'm gonna say, based on the condition, roughly two hours. So Jerry, for the people that don't know how the tornador works, uh, where's it connected to? How does it all work? So this is connected to the uh, air compressor. And then pretty much all it does is just kind of, it blows air and it has this little thing right here and it blows in like into a vortex. So it's like a tornado, you know? It gets dirty in here, but um, it, help, it helps blow out, you know, all that stuff that's kind of embedded into the carpets and all that stuff. It helps out a lot. Is it for every detail or just depends? It just depends. I usually use it for like, you know, dirtier vehicles. If I can tell that like, that's just kind of, gonna be a pain to like vacuum i'll blow out the whole car first when i used to first start using it i used to uh blow a section vacuum it and then go to the back blow it and then vacuum it but i noticed that i was blowing from the from the back it was blowing into the front so it's really pointless so what you want to do personally is blow the whole vehicle out and then vacuum it's much easier what is that connected to you air compressor and what is that connected to my generator also, you need power to do yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what kind of air compressor do you have? I really don't remember. I know it's a Husky and it's a big boy. I got, you know, some people, they use like the smaller ones. But when I first got a smaller one, bro, within like 30 seconds, mine was refilling already, you know? This one, it lasts, it lasts a, a while. Do you guys refill the tanks, the air compressor? 
or no? Uh, it just needs to refill on air, you know mm. what I'm saying? So it kind of does its own thing, but you don't need to personally do anything. Alright guys, so we just finished up with the uh, with the exterior. We washed it really quick. We're going to do the windows and tires, you know, shine them up. So we have the mats right here. This is how the uh, this is how the interior came out. Check it out with me. We got to touch up the door jams as well. Now, Jerry, if you were going to recommend something to this customer, what would it be? Well, I would highly suggest the interior detail. The exterior, um, you know, it has some body damage and all that stuff, uh, needs some love as well. But personally, I would recommend a, an interior detail. You know, the seats, they're, you know, they're pretty stained up. The interior needs some good uh, shampooing, steam cleaning, just about the whole thing. That's what I would suggest. All right, Jerry, you're about to tackle these windows? Yes, sir. What's the strategy? Honestly, man, um, I've been doing this for a little bit now. It's what works for me. I was personally, <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, man. I was having trouble doing windshields. Um, I don't know why. I don't know if it was the towels I was using. It was a method I was using, um, but I just couldn't get it, man. When I first started, I was like, I would try to avoid it as much as I could. <laughs> um, but now I usually use one towel to, you know, clean it. <laughs> this and that and then i'll flip it over and then i'll just finish up with like another towel just to make sure i wipe down uh all of the the smudges and i mean looks like it's been working out for me but if any right. of you guys got better tips let me know down in the comments below all right jerry what's the finishing touches man all right so right now we're doing a. Uh, I'm gonna hook her up with some cherry scent. That's what she requested. Um, and then with every new client, when I finish up, what I like to do is include three business cards and an extra scent. That way their car already smells good. And then once it starts going out, they could be like, oh, I remember this. He gave me extra scents. When they're reaching for it, they have business cards. So you, you know, usually like when a client gets a car washed, people see, you know, like, oh, you got your car washed. Where'd you get it washed? Oh this guy he left me business cards here you go stuff like that all right jerry done with the detail man what's yep. next so now i'm gonna surety zelled me and i just text her she's gonna come out and get her keys then i'm gonna go over to the special needs school in ontario first time customer do you have them check over the car or you think it's good nah honestly i always try to have them take a look at the car because you know if we see any spots we could take care of them right then and there versus you know I, I know some clients, some detailers, they just try to hurry up and leave, but honestly, it's not worth it. Because if you hurry up and leave, they see a spot, they're gonna want you to go back or they're just gonna be unhappy because it seemed like you tried to hurry up and get that money and try to, you know, weasel your way out. So I'd rather just have them look at it, you know, just to show like, hey, I want you to be happy with the work. All right, guys, so we just finished up with this uh, first time detail client. Let me know how you guys treat your first time clients. Drop it down in the comments below. And if you guys need a detailer in the West Covina, LA area, contact me. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay blessed.